Well, hello, artists. It's me, Barnaby. And, uh, well, I asked Miss Iverson if I could start the video this week because I never have. So, hello out there in art world. Well, thank you very much for that exciting introduction, Barnaby. So, this week, Barnaby, we are starting a new art project. And, um, I don't know if it's okay with you, but the theme for our project this week is monsters. And you're a monster, aren't you, Barnaby? Well, I sure am, and are you for real? We're doing a monster project? Woohoo! I can't wait! Yes, it is going to be the best, and I thought you might like it. So we're gonna actually be inspired by another story this week, and our story is called The Color Monster. And uh, I don't know if you can see that small print underneath the title, but it says a story about emotions. So Barnaby, I don't know. Do you know what an emotion is? Hmm, let's see here. An emotion. I don't know, Miss Anderson, if I've ever heard that word before. Well, I'm going to tell you that an emotion is something that you might be feeling. And there's lots of different emotions that we can have. So let me try and give you an example. So, okay, so when Miss Einerson does art, usually I feel happy inside. So that's an emotion that I have. And another one that I might have is sometimes I get sad because right now I haven't been able to see my students in person in my art room for a very long time. And that makes me sad sometimes. Um, but when I see their art on Seesaw or uh, when I see them on Zoom, it makes me really happy. So does that kind of explain to you what emotions are? Do you have any? Well, yes, that actually makes a lot of sense. So let me think here. Um, yeah, so when I get to eat my favorite foods, like pancakes for breakfast or pizza for dinner, that makes me really happy. And also, oh yeah, of course, art makes me really happy when I get to do it and see it from the kids out there. And let's see, oh, uh... Sometimes I get really scared. Uh, sometimes I get scared of the dark. Is that an emotion? Yes, that is definitely an emotion when you feel scared. So those are really great examples. So Barnaby, this week, um, not only are we gonna read the color monster, but we also are gonna make our own color monster. And I'm really excited to show the kids how to do it. But first, let's get to our story, okay? Let's go. The Color Monster, a story about emotions by Anna Linus. This is Color Monster. Today he woke up feeling confused and he doesn't know why. Are you mixed up again, Color Monster? emotions don't work well when they're all jumbled up. You should try to separate them and put each one in its own jar. If you'd like, I can help you. Let's try to make sense of how you feel. And off they go to figure it out. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you laugh and jump and dance and play. You want to share your happiness with everyone. This is sadness. It is lonely and blue like a rainy day. It washes over you like the sea. When 
you're sad, you hide and you want to be alone. You don't want to do anything except maybe cry. It's okay to cry, color monster. This is anger. It burns red like a fire and it's hard to stamp out. When you're angry, life can feel unfair. Sometimes you wanna take out your anger on others, but I'll be nice to you, color monster, and your anger will disappear. This is fear. It hides and runs away like a mouse in the night. When you're afraid, you feel tiny. You think you don't have the courage to face the gray shadows, but I can help you find a way. This is calm. It is quiet like the trees and as light as the leaves swaying in the wind. When you're calm, you breathe slowly and deeply. You feel at peace. Now you can rest, color monster. All your feelings are in the right place. See, don't you feel much better? Uh-oh, I see you're feeling something new. You look different, color monster. Tell me, how do you feel now? I feel love.